when did you decide to take the plunge and go independent? And what was the sort of main motivating factor there? So I left McLean's five weeks ago. And um, it's, it's pointless to litigate why. The, the, um, the new owners of McLean's are taking it in a different direction. I thought they were doing it clumsily. And I figured life is too short to hang out with people who aren't fun to work with. So, um, um, uh, but when I quit, I had no idea what I was going to do next. I'm now at the age where friends of mine who are teachers are starting to retire. So I thought maybe I'll just stop working. I looked around for some corporate gig outside of journalism and, and A, there were not a lot of offers, B, none of them sounded fun. Um, and then in journalism, I mean, I could work as a freelancer. I've, I've written a half dozen pieces in a month for a bunch of organizations. Um, but I figured at some point, editors would get tired of me calling. I, the same thing would happen that has happened to other freelancers. I could, uh, you know, petition one of the big news organizations to hire me full time. Uh, but for 20 years, people have been saying, Paul, why don't you just go out on your own? Uh, you like, you know, 20 years ago, people were saying you could just write a blog and then, you know, uh, hold out a tip jar and people will give you money if they want. And uh, frankly, I found that terrifying. But the, the Substack platform uh, makes it super easy for people to uh, pay if they want. It makes it really easy for journalists to organize and to decide, you know, what they want to charge for, what they want to distribute for free. Uh, it takes care, it's sort of like Shopify for, uh, for journalism. It takes care of all of the back office uh, uh, plumbing that I'm really not good at. And it leaves the journalist free to write. And so I thought I would give it a shot. And first day has been very encouraging. 